Hello everybody, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we have a traffic stop, May 5th, 2022. The captain of a police department is going to pull over a sovereign citizen who is going to make some constitutional arguments that just simply don't make sense. Sometimes you can constitutionally combat a traffic stop, but not using the methods, language, or tactics of the sovereign citizen. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. I am your host. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, consider buying my book and clicking on my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, to get more great content. For me, that channel focuses more on classical legal analysis. Now, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together the same time sip. I got some uh, some trusty ginger ale. Okay, we're going to watch this traffic stop and I'm going to do live reactions. Good morning. Good morning, sir. No. Oh. The lotto mark. How are you this morning? I'm sorry, who now? Well, your registration is expired. That's the police department where? Right here in the city. See your driver's license and insurance, please. I don't have a driver's license. How come? Well, first of all, they're not required. Not required? I have identification. All right, may I see that, please? Sure. Insurance card? I don't know if you want to pull it up. It, okay, you have it on your phone? I do have insurance. Oh, it, okay, great. In what country are they not required? <laughs> you find the insurance, sir? In, in sovereign citizen land, sir? I guess, huh? <laughs> Do you have a license, ma'am? You don't? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, sir. Do you mind? You step over here for me, please. That's a lot of stuff in the bed of that truck. Woof. Well, apparently, you got a couple of warrants out for your arrest. <laughs> Uh, just some tickets you didn't pay for where from here from the county. So I need you to turn off the chance behind your back. Sorry, right, they're gonna take me to jail. All right, chance behind your back, sir. Uh, we, we'll get to that in a second. Sir. Right, okay. Oh, violating the constitutional rights. You got you got multiple warrants out, bud. This video is kind of weird. Sped up. I don't know who uploaded this. Not me. Are you a sovereign citizen, sir? <laughs> a sovereign citizen? Yeah. Oh, he admitted it! He quoted. He quoted his whole uh, sovereign citizen treatise. <laughs> he specifically stated he wasn't making a contract. This video is crazy. Wow, what's okay, it doing? They're not tied on you or anything. Okay, let's uh, transport to county jail. Next couple of minutes, you're gonna hear some more sovereign citizen stuff. Okay, he's riding in the front seat. It is. I get my spill right into the camera, right? <laughs> Under the Uniform Commercial Code, Book 1, Section 308, which says, and I quote, I reserve my right not to be compelled to perform under any contract or commercial agreement that I did not enter into knowingly, voluntarily, and intentionally. Furthermore, I reserve my right not to be compelled to accept the liability of said commercial contract or said commercial agreement that I did not enter into knowingly, voluntarily, and intentionally. <laughs> that was pretty good. You sound like a well spoken gentleman. Thank you, sir. So, let me ask you a question, just from my knowledge. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, no. That that, uh, the Uniform Commercial Code, I didn't enter into a contract with the United States government. I didn't accept the United oh, States at all. No. As a contract, which is what it is. So, how do you buy yourself, sir? Uh, well, I'm forced to. You're forced to accept the dollar. You have a choice. Oh, so you accept it, but you just don't, you can't accept it, but you don't accept it. Okay. I, I don't accept the contract. I accept the payment because that's what people pay with. I don't accept the contract because I didn't enter into that contract. <laughs> okay. 
every law written since then was it not since was it since 1933? 1933. 1933. 1933. 1933. So what, what did people use before then? The Constitution of the United States. Uh-oh! The gold standard! Gold standard. The gold standard! Yes! So, uh, this is one of my favorite types of sovereign citizens. The gold standard, guys. And, and stated the Uniform Commercial Code, which I didn't know. And so all the federal laws are written under that Uniform Commercial Code. <laughs> the judge is not liable, and you can't sue the state. You cannot. You cannot sue the state. No, you cannot sue the state. Yes, you can. And the judge is protected by the bench as long as he wears that black robe. Well, judges are, so yeah. Who I don't think anybody's above the law here. The but that's true. Is Nobody's is above the law. I'm not arguing. I'm just. I'm, I'm trying to learn. They're protected in the decisions they make. The judge, the judge is protected by the bench as long as he's on the bench wearing a black robe. Anything he says, you cannot sue him for that. He's protected by the bench. Well, yeah. And, 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 well, that's, that's different. Um, How else are you going to get justice, buddy? It's outside of his conduct and his law, but he's protected for what his rulings are. His rulings what do you want to live in? A state of anarchy? No rules? No laws? That's right. According to the Uniform Commercial Code. It's also according to the Constitution. But I have not infringed on anyone else's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay? So. Well. Here's, here's the part where. Just don't drive your car. What are we getting here? Police boots. <laughs> Chief, tell me about those boots. Yeah, but. So you, have to, you, you guys now have the burden Steel to bring, toes. bring forth an injured party. And it cannot be a state officer. But if the law says something and you go against it, then you're breaking the law, which means... What law? I have not uh, He doesn't law. recognize that law. I am well within the Constitution of the United States of America. No, you're not. Driving is a privilege. It's not a right. Boom. It's not a privilege. Driving is a fundamental right. Wrong. Right to free and unrestricted travel anywhere throughout the continental United States of America. Not on a... Not in a car. By a coach. No, sir. No, no, sir. No, sir. By a coach. By a motor car. <laughs> go, go get your go get your coach, bro. You got a coach? Yeah, unless I'm operating a commercial vehicle, driver's license, insurance, seatbelt tag, and inspection sticker are not required. Are my guys over there on that truck, they're driving a the commercial vehicle. Wrong. Company that company truck has commercial insurance on it, and they have driver's license, and they are legal because they are a commercial vehicle. Oh. So if you just say you're not in commerce, you don't need to follow the rules. That's what it comes so down I, to. I have no, no, my only remedy, my only means of recourse is to unfortunately civilly sue you. Wrong. Attorney who will take up this case. Go get a license. You got class C warrants, so you got to take it up to the JP or the city judge. Okay. Well, it, it is going to go up, yes, because the, the JP or the city judge is either going to throw it all out, and as soon as he throws it all out, then I'll have to turn around and go file something against you. Why didn't you have your girl drive, if he man? Throw it out, then I'll take it up to the but appeals gonna, court. Hold on, but I'll take it to the next appeals court, and then it will get thrown out. But there are judges there, and you don't believe in judges, do you? I do believe in judges. I believe strongly in our jurisdictional system. Okay, so, so those judges, I, those judges at, up at the Supreme that's Court. That's a false case so many times statement. Yeah, rule in my favor. They rule in my favor every time. Seriously, seriously. Okay, give me an example. <laughs> I love this cop. I love this officer. He's having a good time, man. <laughs> Two shade. I'll give you that one. All right. What else? Come on. So, yeah, he can't resist. He believe in the sheriff, but not city police. Oh, he knew it. I believe in law enforcement. This, I don't believe you guys are enforcing laws. This officer gets it. Okay, so what? And I feel really bad because you guys are uneducated to what the law is. I personally have been to the SMU Law Library and read. Have you? I've read law books. You've been, have you been to the SMU Law Library? Oh. No, you've read the Cliff Notes. No, I, no, I, 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 I have been, yes, I have been. 
Oh, he didn't go to a law library. Come on. Okay. You read all the books in the law library. He's trained in the law. Officers are trained in the law. You got two, four. I don't know yet. You know. Kind of looks like Super Mario with the <laughs> the suspenders and the orange shirt. You you will be informed. You're about to find out. As soon as you get to the jail. I pay five hundred dollars in traffic tickets a year. It's an extra tax on lawyers. Wrong. You have a right to be arraigned within twenty four or forty eight hours. You don't have a right to know right there on the spot, sir. Sorry. Point that out in the Constitution. Where is it? Or in your it's probably in your the one of the law books you read at the law library. Yeah, so it's all joke. Pay your fines then, man. Get the, you know, get right with the law. Or, or just don't drive. Drive the coach. Your warrants. Oh, you're a, he's educating the police. Okay. So why is it that some sovereign citizens end up killing police officers? There it is. They like the mental capacity to deal with the situation as it escalates. That's true. How's that? If the officer is trying to force the law, why does he need to die? Why sovereign citizens? I do, right not, I do not believe he needs to die. That is not, I don't know why you said that to me. Because I, I don't kill nobody. Because it's a dangerous person. ideology. No, these sovereign, well, they are all different. But the sovereign citizens are all dangerous. Yes, sir. And then they escape, and then they get in a shootout when it comes. So, that's what I don't understand. That was murder. That, that was, yeah. Capital murder, not just murder. Two and, and, and again, you, you see how I'm fighting this? Yeah. This is how I fight. I'm going to go down here to the courthouse and fight. You know, they're going to be so stupid. Because I, I want to go home to my family just like I want you to go home to your family. I appreciate that. God bless you. Yeah, that's right, man. But what you got to understand is the ideology, as it spreads, it's quite dangerous. Quite dangerous. And I can't remember exactly uh, the name of those 
of the officer who was unfortunately killed um, by sovereign citizens in um, in the traffic stop the father and the son duo father son duo sovereign citizens I want to clear this up for the video um, kill officer Arkansas shooting 2010 <clears throat> A routine traffic stop in Arkansas. Jerry and Joe Kane. That's the problem, sir. That's the problem with the sovereign citizen movement. You think it's all fun and games and it's just about traffic tickets and and being defiant of the law. But, you know, there's ways, ways to exercise your constitutional rights without going down this road, without going down this unfortunate, sad, and dangerous road road. So I give this sovereign citizen an A plus for his knowledge of the sovereign citizen lore and his ability to recite it. I also give him an A plus for his Mario, or should I say Wario with a W. <laughs> his Wario cause, this isn't Mario. This isn't Super Mario. This is Super Wario. Uh, a plus for your outfit, but you get an F. You get an F for just being a sovereign citizen. But the most hilarious part, as most of you know, they usually don't admit they're sovereign citizens. And this guy admitted it loudly and proudly. Um, this is an interesting conversation recorded by this officer. I'm glad he did this. He's well versed on sovereign citizens. He's well versed on the Jerry and Joe Kane situation where they shot a state trooper uh, on the side of the road in Arkansas in cold blooded murder. This stuff gets people hurt, man. It ain't just a game. So kick the sovereign citizen stuff, kick the Wario, and get your girl to drive the car. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Consider buying my book on sovereign citizens. And check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. You can find the link for it in the description below. Let's knock these sovereign citizens out. Adios.